Hello, today we're looking at OpenSUSE 15, the Leap Beta. So they went back from 42.3 to 15. It was 13, 42.3, 15, 15. So they go, went back to the order. It looks a lot of wallpaper. It's still a beta release. So there's many things that does not work. Like, if you go here, you will see Plasma Valent. Don't try it. It will just at the current stage, it will just not let you log in. Your computer will freeze. And if you are a GNOME lover of OpenSUSE, it's also not. You can't get past the login screen. So at the moment, only KDE Plasma works on OpenSUSE Beta with Exorc, so that is the current way you can try out it. And I'm running this in VirtualBox, VirtualBox, and I got into some strange things. As you can see, I got my black spots here on the side. It's not me trying to make a silly thing. I'm got a bit of a big monitor, but when I put it up for the first time in VirtualBox, I got like a small screen here. I don't know if you maybe have the same thing. So I went to display. I'm sorry for... I will start with my... Reveals my thoughts and comments soon. This is just what I experienced at the beginning. And... Here, I, was, I, was, I wasn't able to change the resolution. So... What I had to do is I had to go to Yast there. And yes, it's very cool. I'm not trying to base yes at all because I'm really a big, f I became a big fan of it. And. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> and then you had to go to Yast, and then you had, you got a few more options there to like, what's wrong with this? Ah, I got a different root password. <laughs> Sorry for that. So basically, you go here to bootloader. You click on this. And then you wait for it. It's a bit slow. Yes, but it's a very cool, Yacht is a very cool app. Which is only in OpenSUSE. And it's a very cool handy app so it's a fantastic app to actually use and then you can go to kernel parameters and set your resolution here like my resolution was not here so i took the bounded space for my situation and yes yeah, so that's what i like about yes and it's a very i love the wallpaper i love they are they are using the latest of KDE, it's, I love this menu, and if you go to info, center, you got your command line options, options also there, you see it's running KDE Plasma 5.12 beta, so it's really up to standard with the latest, and it's kernel 4.12, which is a great kernel to have, and what I found interesting, because all KDE users know that there's a new layout for the system settings, but they choose to stick with the old version, like the well-known version, which is not bad. It's just a very interesting step. And also, we, we click, normally click here. Oh, last time when I clicked here, here wasn't the dark and the light themes but it's here now and it's fantastic and you can get all you need. all the KDE stuff is here and it works very well. I I had a few crashes earlier when I played with it like when I was moving around home folder sometimes it got really messed up here. So I don't know if you can experience the same like I really had a situation where the icons didn't want to play with 
So if it happens to you, just just play around and it will get back to normal. Uh, a member menu works just well. All the KDE stuff works very well. It's very light in memory. Like after running a few updates, it already made this OpenSUSE release much better. And it's fantastic. So as you can see, it uses about 430, 420 megabytes of RAM when idling is super light. Basically, when idling no power. I love the theme and you would have noticed when I started up this new splash menu, which is a very, it looks cool, it looks funky. I love the things they added to this system. I love this new or this better software center of KDE Plasma, KDE Plasma add-ons, application add-ons. Applications very nice and sorted out. If you go to let's say we go to KDE in live, press enter. As you can see, it's still looking. This is very weird. Click on multimedia. I don't know why there's no apps here. Maybe we should just update our software updates. Check for updates. So basically, there is a few bugs, like that was a bug, and it wasn't there yesterday, so it's still very buggy. So you can't use it at the moment as your default system but it is amazing and i can see the beauty of it in this uh, i think it's the first linux release that is already shipping library of a six as the default so that is absolutely fantastic so there's a lot of great things about the system which i really really enjoy and i really sure that when it's going to be released all these bugs because it's it's a beta so there is gonna be bugs but I'm sure when the stable release is coming out all these bugs or most of them at least will be fixed and then this is gonna be a pretty powerful beautiful release and as you can see it's pretty much up to, up to date with the latest of KDE Plasma and yeah so it's buggy but you can see the potential you can see like this is going to be something awesome and this wallpaper looks amazing, this splash screen looks amazing. It's awesome they got the latest things. It And I really, f I like that they got the old menu system settings here. And I love this menu, I love the setup. And I think it's absolutely worth keeping your eyes on this release because it's going to be Stunning. This is a beta. This is unstable most of the time, but there is some. St it is stable also, and it's the latest. It is still KDE Plasma beta also, so it's a really, really beta. But there's so much potential. There's so much hope for this, and you can see that when the stable is going to this is going to be something up to date. We have the touch of open source to make it awesome, and I think it's great. Yeah. So it's a step in that in, there's so much potential and I can't wait to see what they're going to do with this system and the stable release will be awesome. I'm pretty sure about it. Yeah, thank you for watching. See you later. Goodbye.